So today, I'm going to teach you how to put together very easily your floating gander disbander to deter grease. So everything comes with what you need except for a couple of wrenches. I prefer a ratchet wrench and a regular wrench. They're half inch. And the first thing you want to do is take your buoy and put in a spacer and then put your first bracket on. Okay. And then your bolt into the space into the hole where the spacer is at. Then simply keeping pressure on, flip over the unit, maintaining pressure on the bolt with your hand. Then do not put your second bolt in, just put your other bracket on. Okay, it makes it a lot simpler. And then take a half inch bolt, kind of just kind of get it on there to help keep it together. Okay. And now, put, bring over your other bracket underneath, <clears throat> put your spacer in again, your second half inch bolt, up through, and then your bracket will adhere on this side, okay, and you take your half inch nut on top. Kind of hand tighten it for now okay and then this is what will eventually be your anchor or go to your anchor in the water um, i recommend tying a rope to this and a cinder block to the bottom of your lake or pond so this is a, what you would hear the rope to okay so sim simply in like that You can again, just kind of hand tighten this until you get your wrenches ready. Okay, just like that. Okay, now you can put some tightening to it. I won't give it the full time, but I just want to show you how to tighten, but just tighten it up. Okay, you can get, you can get things really snug. Not over tight, but snug. Obviously, tighten up your anchor, anchor bolt. Okay, you can flip the unit over now. And most importantly now is your actual gander disbander. Okay, so it's laser driven. It goes on top. You have your set screws that will go in those holes in the bottom. We want to make sure for sure that we hand tighten these snug. Very snug. Sometimes the unit will go off when you're installing. Okay, here's the first one. And line up the other hole. Here's the second one. And there you go. You have your brand new Gander's Bander ready to go and ready to put it on the water. Here it is.